excess calories, ex finishing it. Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day or night or whenever you're watching this. If you're new here, welcome to the family. I'm so, so happy to have you here. Today, we are back with another Fear Foods video. It's gonna be a full day of Fear Foods. I am giving y'all what you want. And I feel like it's been such a long time that you all deserve a couple more. I actually ate quite a bit last night. I felt pretty sick and I just ate pretty much everything in sight. I also ordered takeout and I really just didn't feel good. I had that like sick feeling in my stomach. And back in the day, when I had my eating disorder. I would have restricted either subconsciously or consciously today, so I decided what better day than today to challenge myself and make sure that I absolutely don't restrict in any way, shape, or form because food is fuel. Food is nothing to be afraid of. It is just food, that's it. And especially on days where you think you've overeaten or eaten too much, the day after should not be to compensate for the previous day. It should really just be a normal day of eating. If you don't know what a fear food is, I'll put the definition here, but essentially it is a food that someone with an eating disorder or disordered eating is rationally afraid of. I know I keep talking, but my last disclaimer. If you think this video will trigger you in any way, shape, or form, please click out. I won't be offended. I just want you to be okay. I woke up today and my stomach hurt so much from just all the food I ate, and I ate really late too. It was like 2 a.m. So I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't film this video. And then I was like, no, no, that's the eating disorder shocking. No matter how tiny, no. She's in pain, she's a little bloated, but we're pushing through. I just ordered waffles with a bunch of berries and maple syrup and all that. And then I actually went to this other place that I really like and they have this chocolate sauce and I asked for a side of it. So I'm gonna pour it on the waffles. <laughs> this is a latte with oat milk. This is pineapple juice. This is very good. waffles I've ever had. Legit. pretty good those waffles were so yummy and they had this caramel sauce that was super good I literally drenched everything in it and I finished it and I asked if I could buy it and the ingredients had milk in it so I don't know how, what's gonna happen to me we'll see we'll see going with the flow I feel really good though that was really yummy I'm feeling a little bit better now Still pretty nauseous, still not feeling 100%. I'm actually pretty hungry now. It's been a couple hours. I was trying to think of what I could eat that would freak me out for lunch, and honestly, I was having such a hard time trying to think of a meal. I just didn't know what to eat, and then I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a burger with fries or something like that. You know, something big and something almost quote-unquote scary that I wouldn't have after eating waffles. Um, and I don't really eat burgers that often, to be honest, so I think it'll be a nice challenge. And yeah, so we're gonna go get burgers from this place called Good Burger. Hopefully it's good. Okay, that was, that was not on purpose. <laughs>
recovery than during recovery. Now I have this tendency where if I'm eating something like a hamburger and fries, I have this tendency to want to go overboard and just eat as much as I can because I feel like I'm never going to get it again, which kind of leads to a binge and then makes you feel really crappy. And then your stomach is like way too full. So it's really important to also remember once you're a little bit farther into recovery to practice making sure that your fullness cues are really being heard and listened to and just being kind to your body. That's why it's so important to include every single food group and every single food. It's food is fuel and it's fun. Okay, that's it, I'm done. That's my rant. That straw that I got in eating the burger, I sacrificed my pants for you guys. I hope you're happy. I figured it's a nice little fun snack of mixed rice krispies because I feel like rice krispies are like a scary kind of snack. And I just recently got the cereal, Fruity Pebbles. I actually already ate some. Uh, sorry. But anyway, it's so good, so I definitely want to make it into Rice Krispies and make it like a super yummy thing. I also have a bunch of leftover cereal, and we are leaving Tulum soon actually, so it'd be nice to just kind of clean out everything and make it into a yummy recipe. So I have Fruity Pebbles, which obviously has the excess calories, excess, I think it's, where is it? Excess sodium, excess calories, and excess sugar. Love that for me. Adding to the fear. Thank you, Mexico. So we have this Earth Balance butter, of course with the same labels. I feel like butter is something that a lot of people are scared of. This looks like a good amount of butter. Okay, this looks so good. I know it's just melted butter, <laughs> but it actually looks really good, okay? So I'll just wait for that to melt and then I'm gonna pour in all the cereal. I feel like this is gonna be such a sweet treat, but let's roll with it. See, already a bit nervous. I wasn't supposed to put these in yet. <laughs> I was supposed to put the marshmallows first. Let's see if I can take these out. Okay, this looks so good. How yummy this is. I'm gonna be emptying it into here. It's looking really good. I've never made Rice Krispies with another cereal. I'm gonna let that sit. So excited, and then I'm gonna eat it. Probably go for dinner out because I really can't think of anything else that I'm scared of besides like more just eating out, I guess. Is that a cop out? I don't know. No, I feel like this is scary. I've eaten out for every single meal. I don't know, you let me know. Is this a cop out? I get really anxious when I drink, and I think I get freaked out because of the calories, like wasted calories. So I just really don't drink. And I'm not a huge drinker anyway, but anyway. The moral of the story is I'm going to be drinking tonight. I already had one drink. I had the initial anxiety and I just grabbed it and drank it and it was really good. It was like a passion fruit drink and they gave it to us for free, so. Starting strong, I'm doing good. <laughs> So for dinner, we went to this really, really cute restaurant and it was called Karma. And I know at this point of the video, I usually talk about all the food I ate and how I felt and how good it was. And yes, all that is true. You can see all the food I ate here, but honestly, I just kind of wanted to highlight the fact that this is what recovery looks like. And while I'm editing this, it's just so crazy to me that I'm able to do this now where I can just order whatever I want and eat whatever I want and drink whatever I want and enjoy my life and enjoy these moments and not have to worry about calories or numbers or restricting myself the next day and it's just so incredible to me so hopefully this inspires you a little bit because I am so so grateful. Okay, I realized that I actually never finished this little part of the video, but this is what's left of the Rice Krispie. I literally ate half of it. 
with my boyfriend as a snack. So this was actually really easy to <laughs> It was super yummy and delicious and buttery and marshmallowy. It's so interesting to me doing these spear food videos because it's really cool to see that I'm not afraid of food anymore. And if you look back at any of my old fear food videos, the reaction is so different. So I guess hopefully this is proof that recovery is possible. Okay. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe for more content. This is your reminder to challenge yourself in recovery, or even if you're not in recovery and you're just watching this video for fun, eat something that makes you feel good. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you in my next video.